play is called Menu 2, and as simple as it sounds, it took all of 7 seconds for Vince Young to forever change the idea of championship greatness. He saw it the night before he delivered the unimaginable for Texas in the biggest game of the season. A vision. Or is that a premonition? As clear as those sweltering summer days on the 40 acres. The game on the line. The ball in his hands. A legendary moment waiting to happen. My whole life, to get to that point, flashed in front of me, Young would say after the greatest performance in the greatest national championship game in college football history was punctuated by seven seconds of glory. Almost 24 hours earlier, before the Rose Bowl National Championship game finished with Young standing on bleachers on the Texas sideline, arms raised high over his head and stretched outward in, what else, the perfect letter Y, while confetti rained and soaked the moment, he sat in a final game week meeting with Longhorns coach Mack Brown and offensive coordinator Greg Davis. Brown is an obsessive planner. He must have an answer to any possible scenario, and the most important was staring him in the face the night before the biggest game of the 2005 season, the BCS Rose Bowl National Championship game against mighty USC. If it's fourth down and five or less, and the game is on the line, what's your play call? Young, who rushed for more than 1,000 yards in a marvelous 2005 season, won a quarterback draw. Davis wanted a pass-run option, but the Longhorns would go three wide, and if Young couldn't find anything, only then could he take off and run. Wouldn't you know it, Texas found itself in the identical situation the following night with the game on the line. USC led 38-33 with 26 seconds remaining and a precarious hold on a 34-game winning streak. The Longhorns had the ball at the USC 9, fourth and five with one last shot. During the final timeout, a play before the final fateful moment, Brown huddled the offense around him and scanned a group that had carried Texas all season. The eternal optimist, he suddenly smiled wide and said in his syrupy southern drawl, isn't this fun? They all looked back, some with nervous smiles, others, like Young, with steely determination. We prepared for this, Brown said. Let's go get it. From Saturday Down South, in partnership with Texas Pete Hot Sauce, I'm Matt Hayes, and this is Saturday Lives Forever. It was deafening on that clear, cool night in the Rose Bowl, a light fog rolling off the San Gabriel Mountains signaling more than just a change of weather. This was a change in college football royalty. Texas built for years under Mack Brown, closing in on a decade of success, but without national championship hardware since Darrell Royal's national title in 1970. Now Brown finally had the last piece to the puzzle, an elite quarterback who could change the face of any game. Brown recruited Young from Houston, and after he redshirted in 2002, Young got on the field and changed the way Brown and Davis thought about football. The quarterback was another weapon in the run game. Only three years earlier, Michael Vick turned the game sideways with his ability to stress defenses with his legs and arm. But this was different. Vick was 5 feet 11. Vince Young was all of 6 feet 5, with Vick's ability to make you miss and silky smooth gazelle strides. He was in this very spot a season earlier, leading the Longhorns to a last second Rose Bowl win over Michigan and spent a majority of the post-game interview telling anyone who would listen that Texas would be back in Southern California next year to win it all. All the Longhorns had to do was win the Big 12 and beat the monster that was USC. The Trojans had won back-to-back -back national titles and that 34-game winning streak was third in major college history and Oklahoma's record 47 games was within one season's grasp. But Texas had Vince Young, and by the time the Longhorns were dealing with that 4th and 5 with the game on the line, Young had already orchestrated a game for the ages. He had thrown for 267 yards and rushed for 191 more without a turnover. Texas had run 75 plays, and Young either threw a pass or ran the ball 58 times. 
The Texas team had seen this so many times during the 2005 season, so often that they had come to expect it. Young threw for 270 yards and ran for 76, and threw a game-winning touchdown pass with two minutes to play in a win at Ohio State. He threw for 239 and ran for 267, while erasing a 19-point deficit in a win at Oklahoma State. He threw for 241 and ran for 45, and Texas snapped a five-game losing streak to bitter rival Oklahoma. Why would this game, against USC and the greatest collection of stars in college football, be any different? What was so special about this 4th and 5? We're on the field. I called the play in the huddle, and I looked at everyone and said, Fellas, we've been here before, Young said. This magical moment, a single game postseason performance that rivaled anything Michael Jordan or Tom Brady ever gave us, was four years in the making. Young redshirted as a freshman because he wasn't ready to play and because he didn't have a mastery of the offense. He admitted during the 2005 season that part of the problem when he first arrived was he was Davis's first black quarterback and Davis was his first white coach. And we just weren't on the same page because of where I'm from. We had to learn each other's character, he said. Young grew up in Houston and was raised for most of his young life by his grandmother. Win or lose, she'd quiz him after every game. Why did you do this or that? Why didn't you do this or that? Young was 30 and two as a starter at Texas and his 3,127 rushing yards is still the school record for rushing yards by a quarterback. He threw for 6,040 yards and accounted for 81 total touchdowns in 37 games. Yet no game was safe from his grandma's criticism. Not the loss to Washington State in the Holiday Bowl as a redshirt freshman, or the loss to Oklahoma in the Red River rivalry as a sophomore. Not even the 19 straight wins dating back to his sophomore season before that fourth and five in the Rose Bowl against USC that changed everything. Young approached the line of scrimmage with cameras flashing and lighting up the Pasadena night. He knew USC would come with some type of blitz, more than likely something exotic to try and confuse the Texas offense. They had been using multiple zone blitzes all game, and Texas, for the most part, had figured a way around them. At pre-snap, USC showed a base 4-3, but blitzed two linebackers at the snap of the ball and dropped defensive end Frosty Rucker into coverage to sit in the space created by the zone blitz. Young read the blitz and quickly scanned his progressions, yet saw nothing. The rest of the play was vintage Vince Young. He took off running to the right side of the field, the exact spot Rucker vacated by dropping into coverage. And then Texas got lucky. Hey, who doesn't need a little luck to win it all? Rucker's responsibility was that zone area. And when Texas tailback Selvin Young ran out of the backfield and into a circle route, he took Rucker, ever so briefly, with him inside. By the time Rucker could move off the coverage and contact with Selvin Young, Vince Young eliminated any angle Rucker had with a few long, fast strides. By the time Vince Young hit the four, it was clear Rucker couldn't make the play and the final two strides into the end zone sealed the national championship for Texas. Young's 19th and final carry of his college career pushed him to the 200 yard mark for the game. He had 467 total yards in the national championship game and averaged 10.5 yards per carry. In the 59 times he was directly involved in a play against USC, he averaged 7.9 yards per touch. As he stood on the bleachers with arms held high and wide, Selvin Young stood by his side and screamed to anyone who would listen, there's your Heisman Trophy winner. There's the best player in college football. Later in the post-game locker room, Young was asked about Selvin Young's statement about finishing second to Reggie Bush in the Heisman voting, but outplaying him in the biggest game of the season. That trophy isn't everything, Young said. I have something more important now. That's what happens when you deliver the greatest performance in the greatest national championship game in college football history.